If you're looking to simplify your skincare routine with a product that provides all the benefits of minimized pores, younger looking skin, and clear radiant complexion, then definitely consider including glycolic acid into your skincare routine. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Citra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist where I talk all about health, pharmacy and beauty. Today I'm going to tell you about glycolic acid benefits for skin and how to use it, why use it and much more. So stay Glyco tuned. So first of all, let's talk about what's glycolic acid. It's the family of alpha hydroxy acid. It's naturally present in certain fruits like sugarcane and beets. In its pure form, it's colorless and odorless. And so what it does is it's a substance that chemically exfoliates the skin by dissolving dead skin cells and oils. It can remove the very top layer of the skin without the need for scrubbing, which can actually be very irritating. And that's why it's used in the treatment of acne, hyperpigmentation, and um, a lot of times for the visible signs of aging. Now, just like all chemical exfoliants, using glycolic acid too much in high concentrations or using it um, incorrectly can result in skin irritation and damage. So stay with me till the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you how to use glycolic acid. But first, let's talk about the skin benefits of glycolic acid. The first and major benefit is that glycolic acid significantly helps improve acne. When excess oil, debris, and acne-causing bacteria accumulate in the pores of the skin, that's when the non-inflammatory acne can develop, which then manifests as blackheads and whiteheads. Now, if this is left unchecked, bacteria can accumulate, leading to inflammation and infection, resulting in um, inflammatory acne. Now, the inflammatory acne represent or present on the skin as pus-filled acne. Uh, these are also like red swollen acne, which are very like rough and hard to get rid of. So glycolic acid actually can be proven to be very effective in treating uh, both non-inflammatory and inflammatory acne. And the reason it's beneficial is because it has tiny molecules which are easy to get into the skin pores and much deeper layer of the skin. It dissolves the dead skin cells, any oils that clog the pores and cause acne. And it also inhibits the bacteria formation. This is why uh, glycolic acid can be used in both treatment and prevention of acne. Now often uh, acne medications tend to swipe away any skin's natural hydration or oils and leaving the skin overly dry. But with glycolic acid, you will not experience this side effect. Uh, and the reason being, it has the ability to attract and maintain moisture. Now, in general, glycolic acid is safe for acne prone skin. Just remember, do not combine glycolic acid with retinol or benzyl peroxide because it can irritate or overly dry your skin. And as a general rule, I would say you want to stick with one thing at a time when you're trying to clear severe acne. You, want, you don't want to create a cocktail of all these different uh, chemicals and acids and further irritate your skin. Another very common skincare ingredient that you want to avoid when using glycolic acid is vitamin C because it tends to alter the skin's pH and combining the two together can result in very, um, um, you know, red flaky skin and it can also cause uh, burning of the skin. Another great property of glycolic acid is that it increases the cell turnover of the skin and brings out the fresher and younger looking cells on the surface of the skin. It can also boost collagen stores and increase hydration and it really helps with the fine lines and wrinkles. For mature skin, I would say that it has been shown to be very effective to treat the photo damage that is caused by the sun and it does that by increasing the collagen and hyaluronic acid in the skin. Now, commonly as we age, we see dark spots or uneven skin tone often, um, you know, primarily because of sun damage to skin. Glycolic acid is very effective in fading this hyperpigmentation. It can be actually uh, safely combined with some of the other, um, you know, ingredients to get more dramatic results. Now, I'm sure at some point, all of us have definitely gotten those annoying ingrown hair and it totally grosses me out for some reason. And when I get one, 
I am desperately trying to get rid of it because um, it's actually very irritating for me. But glycolic acid definitely comes to rescue and is, can be your best friend when you're trying to get rid of these um, nasty ingrown hair. Now, if you don't know what an ingrown hair is, it's basically a, a hair that's stuck under your skin follicles and it occurs when the hair follicles get clogged with dead skin or debris and that actually prevents the hair from going outwards and so instead the hair um, actually is forced to grow sideways under the skin. Now because glycolic acid has exfoliative and keratolytic characteristics so with the regular use, pores will remain open and this skin condition of ingrown hair can literally be avoided. Now it can also be used to treat the existing ingrown hair by softening the bond of dead skin cells and exfoliating um, the debris that's built up under the skin because now you're going to have open pores and that hair is no longer stuck under the skin with that oil and debris and it has full liberty to grow upwards. One thing I do want to point out here is that for ingrown hair that results from hair removal practices, I mean, such as when you get waxing or you do shaving or plucking, glycolic acid in those instances will not be effective. And this is because the cause of the uh, ingrown hair at that point is not because of like debris clogging the skin. It's just because the sharp end of the hair shaft is uh, curling inwards and penetrating under the skin because of those uh, practices. Now, another nice thing about glycolic acid is that if you have hyperpigmentation or just uneven skin tone, it's going to give you an even complexion. Now, some people argue that glycolic acid is not uh, suitable for people with darker skin tone. Well, one thing you have to remember is that you have to be just extra careful when you are when you have a darker skin tone because if you're not using it correctly like if you're starting with a very higher concentration it may result in uneven skin tone or it may irritate the skin so you always want to start at a lower concentration and then you make your way up and also you have to make sure uh, that you put proper sunscreen because it's gonna make your skin sensitive to sunlight. And if you don't put on proper sunscreen, it can result in those, uh, you know, like uh, skin patches, which I'm gonna talk a little bit in the later in the video. But, you know, it's just important that you do discuss with your dermatologist. Never try to self-treat yourself. Discuss with the uh, dermatologist and make sure that you weigh your risks versus benefits before you start any treatment. All right, now that you know the benefits of glycolic acid, let's talk about how to choose the right glycolic acid product. Now, it's available as a clearer mist, toner, um, liquid mist, moisturizer, exfoliant, um, face mask, you name it, and the product is available. Now, whatever product you pick really depends on the end result you're trying to achieve. Generally, products that have a leave-on formula will have the best results as the formula um, you know, gives acid more time to work as it's gonna stay on the skin longer. Also, one thing to keep in mind is that you always start with a lower co concentration, which is of about, I would say 8% is a good one. And as your skin tolerates the formula better, you can work your way upwards. <music> I would say not at first glycolic acid can irritate your skin and it may take a while for your skin to get used to it so I would say definitely start by applying it just three to four times a week and if your skin isn't really getting irritated or red then you can really like you know increase from three to four times a week and slowly um, increase the number of days you use it now if your skin uh, begins to get irritated at any time you really want to take a break from it until the redness or the irritation clears away and then you can uh, reuse it first of all i would say remember that glycolic acid can make your skin sensitive to sun so it's very, very important that you wear sunscreen outdoors when using glycolic acid. Uh, I would say do not use the topical retinoids and glycolic acid at the same time. Um, also avoid using other products that rapidly uh, exfoliate the skin uh, while using a glycolic acid because with that you're getting like an additive exfoliant effect which can of course irritate your skin. 
another bonus tip glycolic acid is safe to use for new mothers since certain beauty uh, ingredients such as bhas and retinols are you know not really cleared and are not recommended to be used in a pregnancy or when you're breastfeeding so i would say like being able to use glycolic acid during a uh, pregnancy or as a new mother is literally a lifesaver because you literally do need something to freshen up your skin in those periods. Lastly, I want to talk about what brand you should get the glycolic acid from. Now, this ingredient is literally the new trend these days, so you can buy it in a wide range of prices. I've used the expensive ones from Sephora and even the cheap, like, you know, drugstore brands um, as well. And I've noticed that they pretty much work the same for my skin. Well, nowadays I am using a glycolic acid uh, toner and I'll share the name up on the screen. Uh, I don't like to use a strong acid on my skin all the time. I like to take break from it and I think a good replacement uh, of the acid is a toner because it still provides you the results without that extensive or very aggressive, um, you know, treatment to the skin. But um, in general, I want to say that you don't have to really always splurge on expensive ingredients to, you know, get the skin benefits. Most important of all, you have to be mindful of the percentage and the ingredients when you're buying glycolic acid or, you know, just in general, any skincare product. I hope you got to learn a little bit about glycolic acid and its skin benefits. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos on health, pharmacy, and beauty. And don't forget to comment your questions and video recommendations. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care. Bye.